Welcome to Nerd Alert. Nobody was counting me down just now. Uh, we have an exciting week. I, we haven't done this in a while because of E3. Yes, it, it was a busy week last week. kind of knocked off the whole week. schedule. And then we didn't get to publish the clips because of various technical failures. But uh, That's what you're about. let's make some more. Yes, more technical <laughs> failures. <laughs> So today we have bacteria living at 33,000 feet, more in the NSA scandal, more in Microsoft was, did they deserve their backlash or not? And what was that, that material that makes it so, like there's no stains at all? Never wet. There we go, never wet today, a nerd alert. But first we're gonna start with bacteria living at 33,000 feet. Previously, we thought that at that level, about six miles above the Earth's surface, uh, is just debris, dust, but 20% of that that we thought was not alive is alive, and it's bacteria. Now the question is, will disease be raining on us anytime soon? Tim, go. Now see, <laughs> I read this story, and I thought they had discovered bacteria on 33,000 people's feet. Oh. And I was not surprised at all. I feel as though bacteria on like feet is pretty a, common. That's a low ball. But it's like. about up in the air. Yeah. It's about bacteria above our heads. So I have to read this again. No. No, um, okay. It's, uh, it's basically they sent a plane up into the upper atmosphere mm -hmm. and let some air in and collected stuff on a filter to see what they would find. And they found a lot of living bacteria, which yeah. is pretty crazy because they didn't know that was there. Well, they didn't think it could survive at that level or at that temperature. But it could, and it's not just benign stuff. It's uh, living fungal cells and bacteria like E. coli and strep streptococcus. Should we panic at this point? Is disease raining from the skies? Um, well, the researchers who discovered this, uh, they're still looking into that, actually. So, yes. So, yeah, time to panic and freak out. Or not, because what, what are you going to do? What is that going to help? Where and are you going to run? You can't run anywhere. It's always been like this, assumedly, right? Yeah, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an upper atmosphere scientist. But they're, they're wondering, like, why? Why is it up there? Is there a purpose for it? And it could be essential to how the atmosphere functions. It could help regulate um, certain materials that are in the air somehow. And I guess that's good. But we, we, we still don't know if, uh, if we can get diseases. Their, from their speculation is interesting. They, from they think level. that it, it could influence how clouds are formed. Mm -hmm. um, Disease clouds. Yeah, well, they're Dirt wondering clouds. how you know, effective this you know, layer of bacteria is at actually spreading diseases to other places. They're not sure about it yet. The most interesting thing I think of is they're, they're speculating whether or not they could use this bacteria to fight climate change by engineering stuff and putting it up there that could you know, break down these greenhouse gases that we're all worried oh. about. Could it so. help with that black carbon problem we were talking about a while back? Who knows? This is a whole new type of science that's just opened up to that's us. That's really interesting, and you're, you're right. We, don't, we haven't studied that far into the upper atmosphere, uh, what's living there, what will stay there, and how to get rid of it. So that could be interesting if it does pan out. Um, this whole thing made me think of like our atmosphere. You know how planes recycle air, and we're all just breathing in the germs, and it's inescapable? Maybe that's a microcosm for us. I mean, planes don't, feel planes don't fly this high, Yeah. as far as I know. No, I'm saying it's like, we can't really escape all those, all those germs. But not even up in the sky, yeah. we still get germs. Yeah, that's Yay. true. You can't escape it anywhere. So, Stay in uh, your homes, turn on your air filters, don't leave it all. 